right, now we're in basic training 227, the text tool. This one's got a little bit more to it. Certainly when we first start we can see that we have a lot of choices up here. Fill color, let's see what happens with that. Changes that background color, our line color. We can mess with that. We can certainly change the font size. Um, an awful lot of functions there that you can play with. Now is the time. Another thing to remember too is that we also have the ability to edit these. Both now, let's change that to bold and underline it, and later. So now if I start again, if I, oh I have to click, on, that's right, I have to click on the text tool again. If I create something, no I wanted to fix that one. Well, if we use the select tool, we can go back in and edit what we're doing. And keep going. Another thing we can do is we can copy and paste. Let's grab something and see what happens when we copy and paste. Right click, copy. And let's see how that comes in. Oops, grabbed the wrong thing. All right. And let's add it here and see what happens. Okay, it did grab the text. Uh, so you can do copy and paste. WizIQ hopes to create a fully editable document building thing so you can have a collaborative document in the future. But um, we also have the ability to um, do some of the editing from here too, if I recall. But let's look what happens when we right click on this. Uh, certainly we have paste, we have select all. We can do some other functions like we were used to with other um, editing programs. So it's a pretty powerful thing. Uh, I forget all the different things. I particularly forget to um, right click on something, but your text tool is a fun thing. Um, here's another interesting thing. Let's say we grab it as a whole. Let's right click. I'm going to copy the, copy the entire thing. Oops, I don't want to cut shape. Copy. And let's go down here and paste it. I can copy the entire thing just like I can copy this entire thing. Oops, I have to use the select tool. All right, so I select it, right click, copy shape, and I can put it over here. Paste shape. So it ended up clear over here off the edge. But anyway, um, remember to right click more often and see what choices you have. And that's about it for the text tool. I don't use that a lot. I usually bring in full documents, but um, oh, here's an interesting experiment. Let's see if we can copy off of another document. Is that the one we're on now? All right, let's see if we can copy. Select tool. No, it brought it in as a picture. Th this thing that it grabbed is just the um, uh, additional line work that we put on. So, for instance, if you do have something on another view, let's just see if it'll carry. I don't think it'll carry from um, uh, whiteboard to whiteboard, but let's grab this. It might, though, because it's copying to a clipboard. Now, let's right-click that arrow. All right. Do this again. Right-click. No, it's not going to let us. I was thinking it should let us remember that, but it's not going to. Okay, so that's it for the text tool, and we'll just have to see what's next on our list to, of things to do. Bye-bye.